Hello, welcome to this demonstration of the Global Network Printer Install Utility or Script. I will demonstrate the traditional way to install a printer and then show how to install a printer with the utility and see the differences between the two. First, let's start and log in as administrator and see how we can install the printer the traditional way. So I'll log in as administrator. Let me show you the printers that are currently installed and there are none. And let's take a note at the existing profiles that are on this computer. As you can see there's only one other user here um, that has a profile on this computer. Let's keep that in mind as this is important as we'll go and see what type of printer will be installed for them once we install it under our profile. So as an administrator I have no printer installed. I'll click on I'll go ahead and install a printer now and the server that has a printer share is called Burns. So Burns is the printer server. If I do that on through the UNC share convention, it lists all the shared printer and folders. So to install a printer, I simply double click on this. And now I have the printer installed as you can see here under printer and faxes. So that's for my profiles. Now as I have said there's another user here called Mango. That's the name of my pet bird. So I'll log in as him and remember again this is a typical installation of installing a printer. If I log in as Mango, you will notice that the printer does not show up under the Mango profile because I installed the printer as another profile called Administrator. If I go check his printers, you'll see that no printer shows up. And we've already installed the printer under administrator, so how come it doesn't show up? That's one of the strange things about Windows XP. In order to have Mango, in order for the printer to show up as Mango, we have to actually install it again for him. So we go through that procedure again. We look at all the shares on Burns. And go ahead and double click on Samsung. And then that printer will show up. So let's do that. And there. Now it is installed and it will show up for him. Now imagine you have hundreds of computers and hundreds of users profiles. You don't want to be logging in under each different account to install a network printer. So that is the downside of the conventional way to install a printer. Now let me go ahead and show you how cool it is when we're using the global network printer install utility. I'll go ahead and delete the printer from Mango. Now Mango has no printer installed. I'll log off and then I'll log in as an administrator because the utility that we will eventually run requires administrative rights on the computer. Okay, now that I logged in as admin, go ahead, let's go ahead and look at the printers. And this printer was here the first time we installed it through the traditional way, so I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Okay, now I have no printers installed for any user accounts. So I'll go ahead and run the printer, network printer install script here. And this is just a license to demo. 
Now it's asking us for the server name. In this case, it is Burns, as I've demonstrated before. Click OK. Now it's asking for the printer share name, such as LaserJet 5, or in our case, it is Samsung. In order to easily find the share name of the printer, you can do what I've done and click on Start Run, and then type in backslash, backslash, and the server name. And that presents you with all the list of printers and folders. So in this case, the printer share name is simply just Samsung. So we type that in. Click OK. And it's going to ask us to verify the information now. So the server name is Burns and the printer is Samsung. So if it's correct, we'll go ahead and click OK. And now the printer is going to do its thing. It's going to work in the background. And it will tell us when it's done. So here we'll answer a few more questions. Would you like it to make your default printer? Yes, I'll, I'll make it my default. Let me move this window over real quick so we can see that the printer is already installed here. Would you like to make this printer the default for all new, u new users? And we'll go ahead and click yes. And now it tells us all new users will have the default printer. Now would you like it to make the default for any existing users? In this case, it lists all the existing users and like Mango was one of them. So we we'll hit yes. We want Mango to have the default printer as well. Now the script has been completed. So we click OK. And we can verify that the printer is working correctly by double clicking on the Q and it shows up without really any errors here on the title bar. So let's go ahead and log in as Mango and the printer should be there because this script took care of that. The traditional method of install you'll notice before the printer was not there. So let's log in as Mango. Oh, wrong password. Now if I click on printers, the script is still <coughs> is still working, so you won't see that right away. But give it a, probably the most it would be a minute. I'll click on F5 here or push F5, and there it is. It gets automatically installed for him, and it sets it as the default printer. If you had more than one printer, it would have set it as default printer. But in this case, it had one, so believe me, it will set it as default. And as I've, I, as I've stated before, it's important that we pay attention to the existing profiles. In this case, there's only one account that exists, Mango. We'll log in as a new user. I've created a uh, a user called test user and it'll build a profile for him and as I've answered the prompt to say yes to install the printer for all new users to log on that new user will also have the printer install so let's go ahead and do that okay I'm logging as the test user and this is going to be a new account that has never logged in this machine before. Okay, now that the test user has logged in, let's click on hit printers and faxes and check whether the printer is there. And sure enough, it is listed there. And this is the advantage of running the script versus installing the traditional way you would have to install the printer for every profile that would log in or for every account that logs in. So this would be the best way to go to run the script so no, bad, no matter who logs in the printer will always be there and it will be set as their default.